Welcome back to another Pristine Productions. And uh, I want to pick up all my subscribers. Today we're going to be talking about uh, some Siasoka business here. Remember, if you want to buy uh, plugins, you want to buy mini packs, sound kits, hit me up on Pioneer. And uh, today is going to talk about Soka Blueprint, the art of production. So here's already my mate here. And I'm going to bring it back here. I'm going to break down the elements here. And I have the Kong shell. I have the Kong shell playing there. I have some horn section from the Triton. So let's break it down. Now, uh, remember, support me, guys. Uh, shout out to uh, all you people in uh, Barbados, Trinidad, uh, Tobago, Antigua, Guyana, Guyana uh, all around. A shout out to Sleepy as well, all my uh, Trini and Antiguan people. Uh, CP Peters, uh, God bless you, sister. So let's get down to uh, the Soka blueprint here. Now, you want to make sure you're using, um, let's say, uh, a nice, catchy sound. I'm using a, a BPM of 160 here, pretty fast Soka. Uh, so I'm going to play the lead sound. I'm not going to jump into the, to, to the mixing here, but I did a little bit, a little bit of EQ here. I'm using the stock EQ from a Studio One here. And uh, the the, the major, all of the sounds coming from, uh, except for the keyboard stuff and the horn sections, is coming from the Soka Starter Pack and the uh, uh, Laventel Library. You can hit me up if you want to buy that from me. I'm going to go down to the kick here. Here's the pulse. Now you want to make sure your kick drum is booming. So what I went ahead and did, I used a little bit of expand here, and uh, I'm rolling off a little bit of 40. And I'm pushing the expand button here, and I'm boosting a little bit of low end here. If I turn it off. You can get that more meat. And also, I'm adding a little bit of EQ here about 6k off on let's get down to the hi-hats here pretty nice simple groove I'm playing this in the uh, is E minor yeah and here's the toms now I uh, had a little bit of channel strip here um, from studio one I'm using stock plugins today using the expand here to get a little snap channel strip off channel strip on I'm getting a little bit more snap here let's bring it back here Channel strip off. Um, slight difference, but you want that snap. Let's get down to uh, the loops here. Here we go. Not sure if you're hearing that. Well, it sits right underneath the hi hats. going to add the uh, snare drums now you can sort of hear that soca real taking shape now and generally you want to start off with your rhythm section first when it comes to soca music so I normally start on, on a key sound and like a synthesizer and then coming with the soca 
and uh, then I'm, I'm gonna bring in uh, let's see what I got here um, I'm gonna bring in an extra snare here here let's do that and this is pretty much soca right here now here I go with the bass line I'm gonna bring in the bass line I'm using the fat channel here using the uh, uh, emulation of the CLA from the PreSonus X, uh, XT here at Fat Channel. You want that fat sound because this is 2020, right? If I turn off the compressor, turn it on, get a little more meat. Followed by some EQ here. Let's see what I'm doing here. Get a little bit of color. And then, of course, I'm going to bring in uh, the conch shell here. And I found this thing in one of the Soka libraries here. Here's a conch shell, very no well known. What I did with the count shell, I transpose it so it falls in the minor key. So it sounds musical, right? And then I'm gonna add uh, additional keyboards here. You wanna keep it simple, but nice and nice it up. Here we go. I'm gonna add some more sounds here from uh, the M1 synthesizer. Here we go. Conk shell coming in there. I'm gonna add additional music here. No EQ added for M1. And then to top it off, I'm using the horn section from a Triton, using the fat channel as well. I'm using a little bit of EQ here from the Fat Channel as well. Pre-Sonus. Mostly a little bit of 8K. And that's the Soka Blueprint right there. Of course, I'm doing a little bit of power compression here. Bringing in the parallel track, Got a little bit more excitement. Using the binaural pan from a uh, PreSonus as well, and using the limiter. PreSonus come with a lot of nice plugins, by the way. Using a little soft clip here. the channel strip on the drum comp here so I'm gonna stop there guys this is Soka Blueprint and uh, if you want me to mix and master for y'all hit me up on YouTube WhatsApp me and I'll send you some of my work some of the artists I was Soka artists I've worked with so I'll catch you guys on the next one